Well, Typhoon's obviously a much more powerful aircraft, as we can see it taking off now. It's going to go straight into a minimum radius tank. Piece as well, is that right? Yeah, that's right. It compresses all the way up to the to the upper torso to keep the blood in the head to stop the pilot from blacking out or even greying out. Yeah, well, we don't want to go there, do we, this afternoon? I think we've seen quite a lot of that potentially already with the Batadors and a few others. That's right. Anyway, we've got John Taylor to come as well yet in the uh, Ultimate High uh, Extra, which will be quite something. OK, this looks like high, high alpha coming in. Scott's demonstrating a uh, low-speed high alpha pass. During this manoeuvre, he's got the stick right back in his stomach, and the jet is actually controlling the angle of attack to the oncoming airflow. So uh, it's uh, demonstrating the computer equipment on board, and he's actually slowing down to as much as 120 knots here, which is very slow for a fast jet. Remarkable, I would say. After this, we'll see him go into full reheat for a uh, minimum radius turn.
Magnus and push the stick fully forward. Come 60 degrees nose down onto the crowd. During this manoeuvre he'll be experiencing negative 2.5 G. As he comes out the bottom of the manoeuvre, he'll go from negative 2.5 to positive 9, so he'll be working very hard at this stage, as per the G kit that we discussed earlier. Yeah, so not only the G-Kit, but the aircraft uh, communication, the computers themselves will be correcting any uh, any fine-tuning in this, because, I mean, this is getting beyond oh, or the extremities of control, isn't it? It is indeed. The four planes actually move automatically at up to 50 times per second in order to keep the aircraft safe. having fun. Yeah, he's just repositioning there to come into land, but that's not a, not a standard approach, obviously. Outstanding. Now, we are just getting on to Betty there. Now, that must be true. And uh, we're going to see lots of you, I think, this year as well. OK, what's going to happen now? He's not going to drop the chute in the middle, is he? He'll uh, taxi up to the other end? No, uh, hopefully, unless he's got an issue, he'll, uh, he'll taxi the chute up to the other end and drop it off of the runway, uh, maintaining good, good airfield housekeeping. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Good. So when are you starting your course? Uh, I'll probably be going back in about four months, back to Bali. And how long is it? I mean, it must be an enormous time. Nine months, something like that? Yeah, the entire course of Bali can take uh, really up to a year. It depends on what, what sort of time of year you're, you're training. Obviously, it takes a little, little longer in the winter. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we're going to turn to something very different in a minute. But uh, I think if you can get the opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, take your children along to the, uh, the little village there.